What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about body armor, or known as weight vests or whatever you want to call them, how you can make one yourself, or if you should buy one online. Let's get into it. So this whole coronavirus thing going on, I wanted to work out from home, so I did push-ups, squats, sit-ups, everything like that, but I was realizing that my body weight alone isn't just quite heavy enough for the gains I wanted to make, especially with the gyms closed. So I started looking online and tried to find a weight vest. I thought, okay, this is a great solution. You know, add some weight, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, whatever I wanted. It would be awesome. And I started looking for good ones, you know, ones that I could go for a run with, but are also slim enough that I could do push-ups with. And they got really expensive really quickly. As most of you may have heard of, the 511 Tactical uh, weight vest made by Rogue and 511 is around $320 Canadian. And I, was, I wasn't going to pay that. So I, I started Googling and I figured I might be able to make one myself. And I did. So let's get into that. So after some research, I found this guy here. It's just a normal plate carrier, you know, Molly, Molly webbing here, nice and breathable on the inside. And I figured, what if I made plates myself home to put in this? Because this cost me about $50. So it was a lot cheaper than the $320 one that uh, Rogue is selling. So I was trying to think of some ways to weight this down. I, you know, the cat didn't want to go inside of it. Uh, I couldn't put water in it. And I couldn't really just put a 10 pound or 25 pound plate without this thing shaking itself to death while I'm running with it. Because I did want it to be comfortable. So I came up with the idea of making my own plates. Unfortunately, they're not bulletproof. I haven't tested it and I don't think I'm going to. But what I did is I took a 10 pound plate and then a two and a half pound plate, put the two and a half pound plate up here in this area, the 10 pound plate below. And then I took the uh, cardboard from the Amazon box that it actually shipped in. Thank you, Amazon, shout out Amazon. And cut out the dimensions of a real ballistic plate. Then I took some zap straps, some duct tape and fastened it all together so it's nice and sturdy. You know, if I grab one corner, the plate won't fall at the bottom or something. And it keeps itself nice and secure in the vest. So when I'm running, it's not, you know, jumping all around, chafing, or anything like that. But I had to make two. So I made two. I know they're not pretty, but they get the job done. And I'll show you how it works in just a second. So all you do is make sure that this is orientated the correct direction to your plate. Take your homemade plate. I chose to have the zap strap pointy bits facing outwards. So it wouldn't be uh, poking through and poking my back or my chest or anything like that. This right here, the Velcro opens up. Slide it on in. Pretty roomy in the front side, but it's not an issue because this comes around. Close it up. If I flip it around here. Do the exact same with the uh, second plate. Pointy sides, other sides both pointy, so we'll just slide it on in. This one's a little snugger, and as you can tell, there's very little fabric on the sides there. Close it up, and boom, your vest is weighted and ready to go. And now I'm gonna show you how to put this on. Here goes nothing. Ugh. There we go. Just sits on like that. And it's actually pretty comfortable because of this uh, mesh padding here. I just back out so I can get into the frame. You have your belt buckle on either side, so you just loosen it up. Click it in place. Likewise for the other side. Loosen it up, this one up a little more. Then fasten them. One of the keys is you want to fasten them pretty evenly. Now I wear this one tight almost all the way, just because I don't want it to bounce around at all. And then what you do here is you notice you have these guys just flapping around. You know, you don't want these flying. You don't have wings. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. So you pull this guy up. Giant freaking Velcro. Who says Velcro isn't cool? Then you bring this on to about here. This is comfortable for myself. Then I'm gonna take the other one. Nice and tight. Put it over top. Boom, drop it down. Make sure the shoulder pads are correct and you are ready to go. You're ready for some squats if you wanted to do that. Anything, don't get shot at because I don't think this will stop bullets. 
but that is how you put on the weight vest. You might be thinking now, dope, I've got a sick weight vest, I look cool, you know, what can I do with it? Well, I'm gonna show you some of the exercises, but first, in the uh, clip just before this, I forgot to mention, you have this guy here. This is what you do, you yank up your Velcro so you can take it on and off, nice and easy. But this actually clips on the inside of the vest here, so it uh, holds it down in place so you don't have that guy, little guy flopping around like a little flappy flap. So, some of the exercises you can do. You can do squats, like I mentioned before. It's great because all the weight is close to your body. It feels good. It's better than wearing a backpack because you've got weight on the front. And it's more realistic to movements you might be doing in real life. So squats are a great option. Another option is lunges. Nice lunges. Add you know, 20, 30 pounds, whatever you want to do. Another good one you can do is push-ups. Uh, just add some weight. You can target your chest. Close ones if you want to hit your tries. Wider ones if you want to hit your chest. There's tons of exercises you can do. Pull-ups if you want to build a bigger back. If you really want to up your pull-ups, let's say you can do eight or 10 pull-ups. Now, put on a weight vest and start doing pull-ups and do that for a couple weeks, two, three weeks. When you go back to doing pull-ups with no weight, you'll be, you'll be amazed by how many more pull-ups you can do. Probably three or four more pull-ups with ease, which is pretty damn cool if I do say so myself. We have reached the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all of you who watch my channel on the road to 100 subscribers. Once we get there, some cool stuff is gonna be happening. Comment down below if you wanna see some workouts you can do with the weight vest. Make sure to go follow my Instagram, at Professor Iron, the same as the YouTube. I will link this vest down below. I will link the garage gym video down below. And I'll even link where you can get some plates on Amazon. Have a nice day, stay safe.